What up my awesome viewers, this is Real Gion here. Let's talk about mana base, especially dealing with three colors because when it comes to three colors, there's like a delicate balance on how things should be handled without going over budget. So if you have the ability or the financial ability, yeah, to afford Cracklands, Shocklands, and even dual lands. if you are among the 1% of players. This video is not for you because you definitely have a good grass on your mana base. But if you're a casual, like I think most of us are, then you're going to have to deal with basics and ways around the fact that you cannot afford Cracklands you cannot afford shock lands and you definitely cannot afford dual lands so with three colors one of the most important color to have with those three colors is green green gives you the ability to ramp but not only ramp it gives you the ability to select colors when you do ramp and then, of course, we know what some of those ramp spells are. Rapid Growth, Farseek, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach. Those are just some of the more common ones that are being used. That not only gives you ramp, gives you color selection. So that you fix your color and your ramp at the same time. So that's a good thing about green. So, with any three color combination, if you have green in them, I recommend 1477. So this way, the other two colors that are not green won't pop up as much, but they're still going to be enough where once you see them, you can still use them. Now this is what works for me in terms of basics. Now of course, 1477 is 28. And the golden ratio is 64 35 as in 64 non land 35 lands so that's when these ones come in twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five okay so of course you cannot afford those really good crack lands but you can definitely afford these crack lands because these ones they only go for 25 cents so the downside is that they go in tap but the upside is that for a turn one turn two or maybe turn three you play these are going to be okay it's just in the later rounds these are kind of a dud to be honest but these are good crack lands they search fix their colors and keeps you going in the game This is a ramp spell, ramp land. It also comes in tap, it gives you a colorless, but you can pay two and search for any two basic lands of the same color though. So this can be an iffy for some. If you have a better option, alternative, use it. If you have like, let's say the reflecting pool to the exotic orchard, you should probably use it over Myriad Landscape, to be honest. I don't have my Reflecting Pool, so I'm not going to be using it. But if you do, I I would say use it over Myriad Landscape. But there are going to be scenarios where having two is better than having one. So that's the case. And then besides the Crack Lands, you're going to have to have the Any Land. So the Any Land basically search for any of the colors. So this fix your color, enters in tap, which is a great turn one play. Turn two, turn three is okay. And then again, like later on, it's a dud because it enters in tap when you need it the most. So it kind of sucks, but hey, this fix your your color. So it's an any land. And command tower is the best land. It's the best any land because it's literally any land based on your commander's identity. And Exotic Orchid is a okay any land because it really depends on the table and depends on 
what they play. So it's a decent any land, but I would say if you can replace it, you probably should get like Fable Passage or Prismatic Vista if you want to go fancy, spend some money. But if you don't, then yeah, this typically comes in most pre-cons for your any lands. And then a bounce land. So a bounce land is good and bad. It's good because it gives you two instead of one. It's bad because it bounces your land. So unless you have landfall strategy or something, that would be great. But if you don't, then of course, if you can replace it with another any land, then you should probably get the any land, then a bounce land. And that's pretty much wrapped up about it in terms of mana base should be quite quick and simple. So it's just knowing your colors and then knowing which ones to run more. But let's say if you don't have green in one of those colors, let's say if you have black, then it comes down to what colors appear the most in your deck. So let's say if you have Mardu, uh, for me, black appears the most. So I would have 14, 7, 7, 14 black and 7 the rest. So. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my golden ratio and what works for me. So if something else different works for you, let me know. I'm very curious to find out. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, the bell. And you guys stay awesome.